Hey Capricorns, and welcome to your May 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys, hopefully, another amazing reading for your month ahead. And, oh my gosh, Capricorns, I know that you guys are kind of in survival mode right now. Um, April was a big deal for you guys. Um, lots of changes, lots of adjustments. I feel like you're doing beautifully considering what's going on, what you've had to own up to, and what you've had to come past. Um, there has been a lot of weight in your energy and in your sign. Uh, Saturn just went retrograde as I'm speaking in Capricorn. Um, Pluto is about to go retrograde. Um, Mars has been in your sign. There's been that stellium of uh, Saturn, Mars, and Pluto, and various other things in your neighborhood. So you've had to suddenly adapt and suddenly... Um, Try to understand and comprehend what you've lost, what you've gained, and how to move forward as the image that I see when I'm feeling Capricorn energy is like um, somebody really blinded by like really bright light and you're like having to look just a little bit like through your fingertips and try to find your way. Um, there's so much activation of your energy, so much potential, so much possibility. But you're moving a little bit slow, and that's okay. We have Jupiter retrograde as well. Um, I do have a video on that. You guys can check the top right-hand corner of this video to check that out. Um, I should have more retrograde videos coming soon as well if they're not already up when I'm uh, speaking in this video. Um, but yeah, it's hard to move too quickly. And I do feel by the end of the month, you come into a place, uh, by the end of May, where you can have like this really quick sudden transition and turnover, but it's going to be really important to pace yourself up until then and to not be like moving too quickly, as I do since you might be a little bit burned out. You have the nine and ten of wands in your reading, um, as well as two of swords, uh, so your energy levels might feel a little bit depleted. Like really, uh, you might have signed up for a lot of tasks or had have been delegated many um tasks from higher ups in work there may have been a lot of multitasking which uh, had to happen for you uh, in april and you're like tired and needing to rest and recharge for sure um, you are changing something though something does change in may uh, so whatever you've been doing to contribute to that or whatever small changes you've been trying to make do feel supported how can you work less hard at it how can you make this easier on yourself i do feel like it's important in this month to consider how to make things easier to consider how to make things um less overwhelming because you feel kind of saturated to me again having all that uh, malefic energy in your chart saturn and mars conjunct uh, in whatever house Capricorn occupies for you, um, that's going to show what's not working right, uh, as well as Jupiter retrograde just for everyone. We can really see clearly what isn't working right in this month and coming into this month especially, and it's just important to be able to develop a game plan and to develop an outline of what you do to move forward out of this, not necessarily having to be too hasty, not necessarily needing instant gratification, um, it feels like it's important to distinguish what is is negative and what it or what is unhealthy and what is healthy in your life because I feel like there are a lot of uh, spider web connections like something that might not be good for you might have aspects that are so if you just push it out you might feel um, discarded or you might feel um, hurt in some way because you've pushed something out which had good aspects to it which were hard to realize before you did um it is a month of unions you have ten of cups in your reading which i'm really happy to see um i do think a lot of wishes will come true i think that you will see yourself get somewhere that you didn't expect to get so quickly i feel like relationships are actually pretty good this month you have two of swords which could make it um not perfect for everyone but I do feel like it's good to pursue that, so it could be a month of engagements or marriages for some, um, or planning that. I know we're getting close to June, so um, it could be a month of like planning marriage. Congratulations for those of you who are. And um, ultimately, just a month of, I feel, sharpening yourself, sharpening your intellect. Saturn and Mars may have come in and really showed you where everything was missing. Um, it may have showed you where you weren't like well calibrated so take this month to slowly reintegrate yourself to slowly recalibrate yourself and uh, become stronger in that way to get into the week to week though week number one capricorns you have nine of wands reverse rooted down by queen of pentacles so you are redefining how your lifestyle is you're very tired or your endurance might feel like it's lacking I'm, like you might feel breathless you might feel um trapped in a situation and i feel from what i'm seeing that the 
answer and resolution to that is just by slowing down. Again, the Queen of Pentacles energy is not too fast, and it might sound too easy. It might sound like, um, well, I've tried to slow down, but have you really? Uh, I think with Saturn being in your sign, there's a lot that you're responsible for. There's a lot that has to happen on your behalf. So when you know what you have to do, when you know how much you have to produce and how much you have to um, output, it's hard to be slow even if you've like delegated yourself a day off like you have like the day off on sunday or something and you think oh my gosh well i can't even relax because i know what i have to do like a month from now and i'm worried about that learn how to control your mind i feel in the first week if you uh fix your diet a little bit move more slowly um start vitamins i feel like maybe capricorns it would be good to um be putting something into your body which helps it to function normally because a lot of this could really be health or just fatigue or some kind of like deficiency of something very simple but i do feel in like two years from now when saturn like moves along that it could end up being something much more chronic or severe by that time if you don't face it now so week number two ten of cups rooted down by page of pentacles um you are perhaps business partnerships that's what that really seems like to me page of pentacles is like a startup business or new uh, chapters relating to how you establish stability in your life um so to me it feels like making peace with somebody or some kind of business partnership so that you move forward feeling more benevolent it feels encouraged it does feel like this is a good time for business business partnership or a good time for negotiation of some kind it does feel like everybody can benefit you are blessed in this vicinity i do feel saturn is helping you in this way um for those of you who are not business owners or are not doing business negotiations during this month, I feel that this gives you a nice dose of energy about what you actually want to do with your career. It's a very strong career energy coming in in May, so by seeing what that entails for you, you will move forward with the most um, sense of uh, healthiness, I feel. Cap it's Capricorn is funny that way. Your stability, your career, your purpose and ambition, these things very much connect into your health grid, so... Um, you may have to step back from that. You may have to like disintegrate that a little bit. So separating the career and health, it's quite difficult for Capricorn. Um, only if something has really fallen apart or if you're very traumatized by something with business or career. Otherwise, it feels like pushing more into it, uh, doing more of the things that you enjoy, you know, turning that hobby into a career is very supported. Even Cap for Capricorn, really only for Capricorn at this point in time, like doing the nine to five along with the new business, you truly can do it right now as long as you're coming back to yourself, as long as you're staying healthy. Week number three, Queen of Swords, reversed, rooted down by Two of Swords. Um, I think that this is probably the most difficult to fathom week of the month. There's something here that you don't want to see or something that is showing itself to work out of order. It's important to look at it. Two of Swords has the blindfold on, so there's something that you may not want to see. Definitely be asking yourself that question. Pay attention during this time about like, okay, am I not seeing something? What am I blind to right now? Um... What am I missing? What am I missing in the third week? Because Queen of Swords reversed is also about, you know, having this incredible intellectual and formulaic mindset, but just like maybe being a bit blurred. So brain fog or fatigue or something like that, that's making you feel like you can't quite like sharply grasp onto things. And you're like, well, I just can't handle it. So um, maybe you're taking some time to get back to yourself and um, not have to be so mentally stimulated. In the fourth week, you all have 10 of wands, you're down by page of swords. So um, having to be many places at once, I feel like you are in high demand at this time of the month. And I do also feel that some strong transition starts to come in there. So you have like this really intense schedule and then you also realize that things are about to change. Like I just feel like the sinking feeling that things are about to change for Capricorn and you realize it so strongly there. Um, Try to make sure that your posture is good. Try to make sure that you are not holding up too much of the weight of the world. Uh, you have the 9 and 10 in your reading, and it's like that progression happens throughout the entirety of the month. They have a pretty good chronological order. It's like 9 in the very beginning, then 10 at the end. So you like get there uh, throughout the entire process. Um, I do like to see chronological order because it it's natural. It makes it feel like a solid progression to me. But I do feel like Capricorn can't stay in Ten of Wands for much longer because I feel like you need to be there um, like about a year and a half from now, like when Saturn really starts to move out of your sign or like the ending of Saturn and Capricorn. So try to not force that phase of, you know, doing it all, you know, um, pulling out all the shots right now and really pushing yourself into that very um, taxed position. 
um, definitely hearing the word taxed. So dealing with taxes or dealing with um, how you're distributing your energy and paying out your energy is so important. Learning that energetic budgeting, whether it be, I mean, it could be money, but I feel it mainly to be energy um, through May is important. You will see it perhaps for some of you, not all of you through like um, pushing too hard. It does feel like there's a lot of push. There's a lot of um, strain. Take the strain off Capricorns. Really embrace the Queen of Pentacles archetype. Maybe do some research for those of you who like read Tarot 2, like um, really get a stronger relationship with Queen of Pentacles because that does solve Ten of Wands energy and Nine of Wands energy and Two of Swords energy. That like like really getting back to yourself and getting back to what is authentic to you and, you know, uh, supporting your body to be strained. If you have to be strained, sometimes it's unavoidable. Um, make sure that you're supporting your body to feel a bit strained, you know, um, come back to yourself have a healthy diet, healthy sleep, healthy sleep patterns. Knight of Wands is your central theme, Capricorns. Um, so travel, uh, moving, changing location. Um, make sure that you are integrating the solitude and change in location because you have a little bit of both. You have like that Two of Swords energy. Um, although it really is the only one that's like strong solitude. Nine of Wands can be that too sometimes. Um, you have to mix with people though this month as well with Ten of Cups and um, Ten of Swords I often see as um, a mixing energy sometimes as well. So try to integrate the solitude and the mixing. Um, also try to not like want the other when you're not in the other's place. So like when you're alone, you want to be with people. When you're with people, you want to be alone. Um, enjoy the times that you have with both because it does feel like you want both. Um, so don't cut yourself off at the knees in that way. Um, embrace opportunities. Opportunities definitely come in, I feel, with Knight of Wands. For some of you, it's like a relationship with masculine Sagittarius Aries Leo energy that could happen, even a platonic relationship. Um, but for most of you, I do feel this to be an aspect of your own personality. Saturn may start to show you the world. It may start to show you different places, different opportunities, as long as you're willing to commit to them and um, enjoy them and find purpose there. So really seek the purpose this month, Capricorn, and uh, enjoy the work or find a way to make your work and purpose combine that can be difficult now but i do feel like you're actually quite blessed with this uh capability right now i've so enjoyed to be here and give this reading to you guys um if you'd like to book a private reading with me that's in the center of your screen also your subscribes likes and comments make my day and we will be talking very soon in the future much love bye